I'm, I'm more tired today One than usual. I was thinking it before Chilling stream. Bro. And honestly, if it wasn't for the caffeine content of this much tea, I'd probably be super dead right now. But thank you, sir. And Cap. All right. Let's see. Dosperado could. All right. See ya, Doppler. Um, but yeah. Uh. What the heck was I saying? I don't know. Anyways. Um. You know what? Ooh, let's actually ball. talk about a very specific case. Let's talk. Let's talk some some spark meta. Let's talk about playing low on strikes. Because DOS has shown that you don't really need. I I say you know when I say strike advantage and stuff like that, it is an advantage to have more strikes. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're just gonna magically win because you have the strikes all of a sudden, you know. So, but when you're playing low on strikes, obviously, ooh, ooh Karma cashing in his strikes like there. Uh, but yeah, but but obviously, you know, um, when you're playing low on strikes, nice. I'll stake it right Thank back. You, uh, you got to play differently than, you know, how you would otherwise. And and it can it can sometimes be better, depending on who you're playing with, to be lower on strikes, um, to be higher on strikes, especially if the difference is big. Um, yeah, like Scotty said, control and spins. So, strat the the best strategy I've seen. Listen, although I do commentate this game, I do not claim to be an expert in this game. Thank you. That being said, when you play low on strikes, usually your main motivation is to get more strikes, and that's just to, for your shield. Really. Ooh, Karma taking his second, Ooh, nice point? his third point. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. So yeah, your main motivation is to, to, to get more strikes and to reflect your opponent's ball. Because of course, when your opponent's high on strikes, uh, uh, you, 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 you're gonna be able to um, get a lot more use out of reflecting their ball than you otherwise would, especially if you're doing a, a complex reflect, like off one of the inside corners. Um, so, how do you, uh, and, and the main thing that you're gonna come up against is your opponent's gonna have a really fast cooldown on their shield. So usually this is going to result in your opponent using their shield more, which can actually be used to your advantage. So strategies for playing low on strikes. Scotty said it in chat, you can do curves. Um, in, in fighting game terms, it's in, uh, a, 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 a prolonged hitbox when you have lower strikes. Your opponent can like walk into your ball. Um, yeah. Nice. I was, I was going, this is the wrong move. <laughs> yeah, well, nice curve, though. Um, well, especially the, uh, I guess we're calling them kitchen sink throws. The the throws that hit every single wall as they head to the opponent's side. Um, they're going to take a while to get there. But if you're on zero strikes, your ball's already going to take a while to get there. And you can use those to bait out your opponent's shield. If you throw out one of those, it's much harder to reflect it in a precise way. And you're much more likely to get hit on the foul zone. You get your ball back, and then you can pretty much throw it immediately at your opponent to get a strike. Um, the other things that you can do when you're low on strikes is a deflection and a throw. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Ticky tack is the one all around. Um, <laughs> we made up these guys. Um, Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna use that. Um, so yeah, the ticky tack, the ones that hit every single wall on the way over. Those are uh, some of the ones that uh, are good to throw out, especially when your opponent's baiting your shield. If your opponent's getting a little bit more aggressive, they probably aren't gonna throw their ball directly into your shield, but you can use that in combination with the long shots. If your opponent sees that you know it's hitting every single wall on the way over, ooh, Karma take a round one. Good. Nice round as always. Um, what you can do is use that in combination. You're basically, what you're looking to do is you're looking to pressure your opponent into just continuously throwing their ball without thinking about it so that you can then do a change up, hold your shield, and now, you know, their 20 strike ball that was heading straight for you, well, you actually have a shield now to reflect it. Dos Barato taking first point there. 
So let's see here. We'll, we'll see if Dosperado finds himself in a situation with low strikes, and we'll see what he does. He got a double strike there. So that was pretty good. He's pretty much staying one for one as far as strikes goes. So yeah, so so you can play offensively with with the, the many throws. You can play defensively with with kind of holding your shield, but your opponent probably isn't going to allow you to throw it right in the shield. I mean, when your little one strikes, oh, ooh, Karma taking his point there. So let's see. So let's see what Karma does. So right now, Dosperado is going to get his shield back. Oh, well, he, he missed that block, but um, you can you can see that on pr on most throws, Dos is getting his shield back before Karma gets his ball back. Ooh, and there's the second one. Nice. Well, I guess we didn't get Thank to see you. much of there. That's what I get for trying to do technical commentary. So, yeah. And then overall, too, um, if your opponent's throwing him straight forward, bait the shield. If your opponent's throwing him off all the walls, it's going to be harder for you to bait the shield. But at that point, as long as you're confident in your dodging abilities, you can, as it's hitting every single corner on the way over, throw your one-strike ball across, and you'll at least get a strike out. You know, while they have no sheep. Um, but yeah, some people are really good at playing on low strikes. I feel like I'll get like 25 strikes against someone and they'll hit me anyways. And I'm just like, you know, like, I spent all this time, all this energy. Holding your sh You know what? I'm going to say this. Holding your shield is a valid strategy. It's also not a good strategy. Most of the time. Take that. Um, and just for sake of, of, of clarifying the term. Holding your shield is the term that's used when you hold your ball. You don't throw it. You're not being offensive at all. You're just waiting for your opponent to throw their ball. Which is not the... Oh, ooh, no, double, 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 oh, double, okay. double, double. Crazy, crazy. Nice, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my effort. goodness. Low, low sweatness. That Good was game, wild. Man. All right, uh, yeah. let me go ahead and see who's next.